Hi there, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your design questionnaire in your Design Files account, how you can completely customize it to your business, and how you can then send that questionnaire out for each and every one of the projects that you create. So let's go ahead, we'll pop right in, and I'll show you exactly how this works. Now, if you're interested in using the Design Files questionnaire that comes as part of your uh, Design Files account, all you have to do is go into the top menu up here, click into your account settings, and in your account settings, you're gonna see an option at the top that says Project Questionnaire. If you click on that, it's gonna take you to this view right here. And this is where you can completely customize your design questionnaire so that it perfectly suits your business. So to begin with, you'll see here that there is an option for you to include a welcome message. So in your welcome message, if there's something specific that you want to address with your client, just so they're aware of certain details that you're gonna need provided to them through this questionnaire, you can go ahead and you can add in a welcome message. In this case, I've just kind of kept it top surface by saying, please take a moment to fill out our design questionnaire and tell us about your project. The goal of this questionnaire is to help us get an overall sense of your style, preferred colors, and your goals for the space. The more information you can provide, the easier it will be for our team to create a look that is uniquely you. So you can create your own uh, introductory message and down here you'll see there's an option for the button label. So in this case, my button is gonna say, let's get started. And when they click on that, it'll jump them straight into the questionnaire. If you don't want to include a welcome message, you don't have to. Click these three dots right here and you can choose to hide this. And if you do that, they'll just jump straight into the first question. It's completely up to you. Now down here, you're gonna see all the questions that are already added into your design files questionnaire. And you can choose to customize each and every one of these. So if I click into any of these options, for instance, what's your style? You'll see down here that there's a number of styles that have already been added in. If you don't want to include a certain style within this question, you can just turn the toggle off to remove it. If you wanna keep it, turn the toggle on, and this will show as an option within your design questionnaire. If you like, the styles, but you don't in, you don't really like the images that we've provided here, that's fine too. You can customize each and every one of the images. So you can just click this link and you can upload your own image into that specific space. And if you want, you can go to the bottom here and you can add a new design style and completely change out this question with your options. Now you can go ahead and you can have a look at each and every one of these questions. And for each and every one of these questions, you'll be able to go over here. You can choose to make it a required question. You can choose to hide it. And for any of the ones that you're gonna be changing up, you can also choose to reset it to the original. So if you made some changes, but you decide that you preferred what it originally looked like, you can just hit the reset button. Now down at the bottom here, you also have the ability to add in your own questions. So if you want, Click the button here, you'll be able to enter in your question, you can add a description, and you can choose the response format. So you can make it short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, or multiple choice with images. So go ahead, add in as many questions as you like. You can also delete a question as well over here. And when you're ready, you can save your questionnaire and preview it. And this I highly recommend. You always wanna make sure that you take the time to preview your questionnaire so that you can see it from your client's perspective. So just go ahead, take a moment and go through it. You'll see the introductory message that you created and the button that tells them to go ahead and get started. And then they'll pop in and they'll start filling out all of the various questions that you've included. So it's quick and easy to use. Here's a case where it's just a uh, short paragraph, there's options. And for every one of the uh, questions, you'll see how it's set up and you'll see how you can customize it. Now, as they go ahead and they make their way through this questionnaire, the final step will be for them to click the button at the bottom where they're gonna submit the questionnaire to you. So if you like the way everything looks and you're feeling really good about it and you're ready to send this out to one of your clients for one of your projects, you can exit out of the preview. And what you're gonna to wanna to do here is, we've already saved our questionnaire, but let's go ahead and hit the save button anyway. Make sure everything is saved. And now I'm gonna go back to my projects. I'm gonna kickstart a new project right here. We'll just give this project a name. And when I kickstart a new project, you're gonna see this link right here where it says invite client to complete the design questionnaire. So here you can click this link, you can put your client's email address in, you can add any custom message you like, and then go ahead and send that questionnaire directly out to your client. 
What will happen is if you click this button, the system's automatically going to send an email out to your client. It'll be branded to your business and it'll just have a simple message that says, please take a moment to fill out this design questionnaire. They're going to click on that link. They'll jump right into the questionnaire. They're going to fill everything out. And then when they do that and submit it back to you, that questionnaire is automatically saved to your project. So you can click this link right here. You'll see all the information that your client provided to you from that questionnaire. And you can review this at any time as you're working through the project. So there you have it. That's how it works. Definitely uh, take some time, go ahead, check out your account settings, play around with your design questionnaire. You can completely customize it to perfectly suit your business needs. And the great thing about using this is that you can now automate that process for your client. You don't always have to go out and meet them face to face and take down all this information. If you want, you can just go ahead, send out that detailed questionnaire, give it to them, let them uh, fill it out and submit it back to you. And then you can collect that information quickly and you can move your projects forward faster. So I hope you found this helpful. If you do have any questions at all, always reach out to us on the live chat, which is the red icon in the bottom right hand corner. Click on that at any time. You'll be able to reach a member of our team and we're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.